Well, Alan. Hey! Hey! Smart Anybody's ever dreamed of a safari has dreamed of going to hunt in Tanzania. The idea for this hunt started two years ago at Safari Club International Convention. And a dear friend of mine and mentor encouraged me to introduce myself to Quentin Whitehead and kill a North safaris. We had just started talking about doing a uh, buffalo hunt together. And after a quick introduction to Zidane and two phone calls later, we had four friends all ready to load up and take Buffalo to Kilimbara Valley. After a long summer and shooting a lot of rounds at the range, before we knew it, it was time to get on an airplane and head to Tanzania. You're the hot topic in DC this morning? Yeah, maybe I'll be called like you should be. to address yeah. the Senate. Yes, given, <laughs> given the, the trials and tribulations I've been through with Bubba, let me share with you. A show and tell. 
pontificate on how you should run your country. Yep. Good. Second morning, this morning walking through this burn stuff. We've been on buffalo since, honestly, since we got out of the truck this morning. We were all probably gone out of camp for an hour. Across the river is a place called I the Island. And uh, actually, Jumanji, right, Will? Jumanji. Absolutely. So we saw some big bulls and, and uh, bailed off the truck. And it's kind of funny because you'll see on the video, as they get off the truck, they immediately start lighting these fires. So we're tracking buffalo in front of us in this long grass we can't see over, but everything behind us is burning 10, 15 feet in the air. So it's just, it's been a, it's been a crazy morning this morning, but uh, this, is, this is quintessential buffalo hunt. We're tracking bulls in the long grass. So we've got to find some Duga boys after lunch and uh, see if we can find one to, uh, to shoot. Got to the herd, it was too big, which is sounds like a, a problem everybody would love to have, but that's the problem we keep running into is we can't figure out what bulls are what and what's old and what's not, and they keep moving. So uh, we're gonna back out, go get some lunch, let them calm down, and then come back late this afternoon. As customary here, we uh, decided to set everything on fire just as, uh, as we finish. So um, burn the exit. Decided to take a break, let them settle down, and now they're uh, bedded on the hill behind us. Took about an hour to refind them after we finish eating lunch, but uh, we're on them. It looks like there's at least one good bull, maybe two in the group. So we're gonna sit here and see if we can uh, sort one out. Gotta let them make the first move. It's a, it's a lot of buffalo. It's probably 200 buffalo in this herd. But, uh, hopefully, we can get one sorted out tonight.
the crocodiles in the close here learned how to tip out uh, tip over dugouts those rivers we really don't have to do any anti poaching the crocodiles do it for us we just pick up the dead bodies
Just finished uh, lunch at Dollar Camp. It's pretty awesome. It's a beautiful place to eat lunch on the river. And uh, got some intel on where some buffaloes are. So now we got. <laughs> Come on, man! You can't do that! Yeah. I didn't know there any rules. I'll see if I can edit that. Anyway, we're going to go find some buffalo now. It's at 3 o'clock. Sunset on the third day. Been an incredible day. We spent the majority of the morning in the grass flats kind of behind us in the bottom down there. It's just huge, several square miles of uh, two legs in between the Clasero River. And it, the grass is eight to 15 feet tall. And <laughs> we've been on tracks, and then, which, you know, I can't, I cannot, cannot describe how intense it is when you're walking with zero visibility and all of a sudden out of nowhere buffalo start lowing and at 30 yards they start filtering in front of you just feeding you have no idea you're there and we are just doing everything we can to make out uh, a shootable uh, old we're looking for hard bosses and it's been tough hunting but it has been absolute it's been a blast this place is an absolute paradise also and just I can't say enough great things about Kilimbaro. They have, they're doing a great job. We are hunting hard and we're getting closer. So we're burning everything that we can, exposing some new growth and uh, hopefully gonna find some Dougal Boys tomorrow morning. Headed up the Closita River. Uh, Jumanji's over here on the side, as you can tell, all this tall grass. We got crocs bailing off the bank and uh, we just cut uh, some lion tracks buffalo track so this is uh as don has said everything in jumanji is trying to get you um we're just trying to get some buffalo like, this place is definitely wild morning um day five last night as you'll see from the video i'm sure you've already seen we were on a lot of buffalo last night um it's probably 300 buffalo and a herd there was one nice bull and we tried and tried it we was on the sticks for an hour off and on trying to find that bull and the sun just went down on us but uh we followed him literally out into the middle of this big green open field and he kept calling back. It was the coolest thing. The tracker was high. He kept calling Marrr. and every time they turn around and come back to us and we look and scan for a big bull, we just couldn't find one. So anyway, back to camp late last night. You didn't see anything. It was nine o'clock. We got back, had dinner, off to bed early, four o'clock wake up call this morning, come back to where we had seen um, some Dougal boys in the uh, in the high grass a couple of days ago. First light, uh, Zidane sees a big bull, and uh, we'd be off the truck 10 minutes, tops. Walked across, he crossed the river behind us, and was just kind of walking uh, behind me. And super quick, jumped up on the sticks, he was walking perfectly broadside, got a quick shot off, and so now we're still reeling from 
it actually happening. And uh, anyway, we think we saw him fall. Messiah says he saw him go over there and lay down and he was kicking. So we've got a boat coming. We're going to hop in the boat, head across the river, see if we can find this bull. <laughs> I still can't believe it happened this morning. This is, uh, we, had, we had dubbed today Doug a Boy Day. And uh, I think Zidane proved it to be true Doug a Boy Day. morning this morning at the one buffalo killed great dug a boy by himself and uh, after that we ran up to a lookout point and saw some buffaloes out here in the middle of this long grass that we've been burning and so we just jumped on the boat in Klausia, ran up the river saw a few crocodiles a couple of hippos now we're gonna go see if we can spend a little time sneaking through this grass find that group of buffaloes. See if we can go find a 
Dugger boy for Will. So we just spent probably an hour and a half working that herd. It was huge. It spread out probably over a couple hundred yards. We got the wind right and walked along the edge and checking every time we could get in a little closer, see if we could find a hard boss bull. But a lot of young, young bulls and a lot of cows. It's probably 300 plus buffalo in that herd. It was two herds and they joined. And so anyway, we're gonna leave them, see if we can go find groups of Duggar boys before it's too hot. And uh, if we need to, we're gonna leave them just come back later this afternoon and get back on that herd. It was huge. Great day. Great way to start today. Today happens to be my 39th birthday. And apart from missing my family, my wife and kids, uh, I couldn't think of a better way to spend a birthday chasing buffalo. Especially since I shot one yesterday, and we're gonna get one today from my best buddy Will. So, it's a great day. So we've been uh, cruising for, I don't know, a couple of hours. And we were super excited about this area we were scouting, and then all of a sudden there's these trespassers that think they have the right to hunt our spot. But anyway, I'm sure they haven't killed anything. They bought a bright they bought the, the yeah. sweets. Yeah, they all of a sudden here we got some Tootsie Rolls trying to make up for ruining our hunting spot for the day. But anyway, at least they're nice guys. <laughs> Is that your favorite song? Let me see that Tootsie Roll. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Y'all think you can just ride around anywhere, hunt wherever you want to, huh? Bunch of trespassers. <laughs> it's not a very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, something. That's something. That's something. That's something, buddy. How many did I shoot? As many as it takes. You shoot the motherfucker. How many bullets have you shot? We'll figure out when we get it.
So <clears throat> we, uh, I don't know about lunchtime, got on some Dugger Boy Bulls <laughs> just literally off the road. And instead of taking a break and having lunch, we said, hey, we're, we're here to go shoot buffalo. Let's go spend some time on the tracks. And so we walked for about an hour and a half and the herd had bedded down. And uh, with all, on his first buffalo hunt on my birthday, flock shoots an entire herd of buffalo and my man has got two beautiful bulls down. It has been an incredible day. I mean, it's just, <laughs> so he, we missed the uh, actual first shots because it was such a scramble because everybody was trying to shoot and we were all trying to figure out what was what and it was eight or nine bulls all together. But uh, it's, this, has been, this has been a proper, proper buffalo gunfight for the past 30 minutes. And now we have two beautiful bulls. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, too. Hey, hopefully it's been a great birthday for you. <laughs> it's been the best birthday ever. Good. Oh. <laughs> Two buffalo, Will. Two. can't believe it. Two. Double. Double bite. Oh, epic day. We got back to camp. First time in six days while the sun's still up. We, um... Had a quick bush lunch late, like three o'clock, and decided we are not going to ruin this day by doing anything except celebrating Will's buffalo. That's a epic feat to not only kill a first buffalo, but to kill a double in uh, in the same afternoon, just in the same herd. It's an incredible day. This uh, Zidane, Killing Barrow North, just incredible incredible team and it's just, I don't know, it's been a great day and it's my birthday which is also pretty exceptional to be able to do that with your best friend uh, on his on his first buffalo hunt uh, my first buffalo hunt too so this has been a great day we'll remember this forever <laughs> Slowly exhaling the last drag of the evening cigar, my soul becomes heavy with the realization that I'm gazing upon the final dying flames of the safari's last evening fire. The by now watered down whiskey does little to quench my soul that longs only for more time under these stars, and at this point, I cannot help but feel cheated Cheated by time, the cold, heartless villain that she is, made me wait ever so longingly at a snail's pace in anticipation of this moment, only to accelerate to warp speed once my boots kiss the first particles of African soil. All the days and all the months and even years spent planning and dreaming of this moment in time has vanished like a flicker amongst the flames in which I now gaze. I can't help but wonder to men like Salu, Selby, or Ruark, how many nights in a lifetime has one afforded, and how many is enough to sit under the majesty of an African night sky on nights like tonight that they feel as I do now, and only wish for one more. <laughs>